Agreed. Done. Yes? What? Faccio, faccio, ferro. Orders? I'm all done. Suppose I'm free to do your dirty work. Yes. I'm listening. I'm on it.
I'm on it. Greetings, child of Ilmata. How are you today? I am pleased to hear it. So many young people today suffer needlessly. They live through a dull pain, sublimely drifting under the waves, never understanding the ecstasy that awaits them if they open their hearts to Ilmata. Hmm. I suppose you're right. The whole mockery of suffering thing only amuses one for so long. It seems that my campaign here has run its course. It was time to move on in any event. After centuries of Ixonomized, laboriously worded speeches and delusions of grandeur, it is a welcome change to hear such succinct threats from an enemy. Thank you for disposing of her, by the way. Her speeches were quite tiresome, and she suffered her defeats so poorly. If you seek resolution, I shall give it to you. Farewell. To the British Imperial. In the heat of the battle, the twisted priest of Ilmater stumbled, gripping his chest as if mortally stricken. A faint glow began to emanate from the crystal that hung round his neck. Suddenly, the entire cave was engulfed in an explosion of blinding light. When the light finally died, the party discovered that they were no longer within the dark passages of Dorne's Deep. As they struggled to regain their bearings, they realized that they had been returned to the town of East Haven. But this was not the sleepy fishing village they had left so long ago. Enchantment had fallen over the town, encasing what remained of the shattered homes and buildings in a prison of solid ice. At the center of the destruction, Upon the very spot where the Temple of Tempus once stood, rose a massive tower of crystal. Done. You now witness true power. Orders agreed. I'll split you in two.
you. Who are you? I... I am Everard. I was the priest of Tempus. The temple is the one that has become that infernal ice tower. Yes, I was brought into the tower by the giants. They sought to break me, force me to break the glyphs. Jared's stone, it is a portal to the hells. If they open it, then we are all damned. Pokolin, his armies will number all the souls of hell. Ferun will be destroyed. Let me show you the sign. The ice gives way beneath a symbol. Crossed hands, blood upon the wrists. With it, you should be able to open the tower. I will follow later, if I can. done. I am your man. Ready. I'm on it. You have found your way in, I see. I will attempt to open the passageway below to Jared's stone, but these glyphs are born of Tempus himself. It may be beyond my power. If you would help, climb this tower. See if there is another way to Jared's stone. Agreed. I'm on it.